The other thing that the content editor is useful for is for creating assignments for your students. Okay, so let's start a brand new assignment for the students. Let me save this Animal Sounds project. And I'm just going to start a brand new project. So I clicked on that plus sign again to start a new project. And what I'm going to do, I'm not actually going to put any code in here at all. All I'm going to do is I am going to write the assignment for the students. So let's see, let's go into edit mode. And I'm going to add a page. I don't really like this first page, so I'm going to add a page. Um, and maybe this time I'll have this layout. And then I'm going to click up on this first page and let's just get rid of that page. So let's delete the page entirely. And now we're in the first page and let's have some nice big text up here that says robot challenge number seven. And I'll make that really big and I'll make it blue and maybe I'll center the text. And, you know, we could put we could put some more pictures in here. Unfortunately, I don't have very many interesting pictures on this on this uh, computer. So I'm just going to put that robot picture that you saw before in there. And then maybe we'll add some text here and we can say step one, make sure that you have built your robot from week one correctly, review the directions, and so on, right? So there's our first page of instructions, and we can add another page of instructions. You know, maybe we go here, and we say text, and we say, now that your robot is designed correctly, dot, 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 and we can just fill this whole thing in. And what we can do is we can say, you know, now that the robot's designed correctly, maybe in here we will add, let's add a chart, a table. And we will say, oops, let me move this out of the way. We'll say, first step, I want to go forward for three seconds. And then move this out of the way, not very convenient. And then the second step is to play a funny sound. There we go. And we can actually make this a little bit wider. Um, and so you can write all the instructions that you want your students to see on these pages. And if you want to make your own notes, like I can click on the teacher notes version of page two, teacher mode, I can just write a note to myself that says, um, I expect that most of them will pick the snore sound because they thought it was so funny. Right. And I can just have that as a note just for me that my students won't see. We can go back into student mode. Um, and let's go into view mode. So what our students will see is they'll see robot challenge number seven. Here you go. Step one, make sure you've built your robot correctly. And then they can go on to page two. And it says, now that your robot is designed correctly, first step, go forward for three seconds. Second step, play a funny sound. And then we can expect the students to build their program right here. So you can save this project for your students and, you know, file save project as, what did I say? Was it week three? Week three project instructions. And you can give this file to all of your students and ask them to rename the project with their own name. And magic, you've given them all some interesting instructions what to do with their program.